Sometimes a complete website redesign is much needed, but other times it's just a waste of energy and resources. So in this video, I wanna share with you some of the most notable website redesigns from this year, and then have you vote on which ones were good and which ones were a waste of money. Now to show you the old versions of these sites, I'm using the Wayback Machine. So keep in mind that some of these might be missing images or might look a little bit weird, but you should be able to get the basic idea of what they used to look like. So the first redesign we'll talk about is ClickUp.com. So the old site was very on trend back in 2024. It had very playful fonts, colorful mesh gradients, these little tab elements. It was definitely a good looking site, but their new site went for a much cleaner, sleeker look. They use a lot more black and white and they use the colors a lot more sparingly, which in my opinion actually makes it a bit more engaging. In this new site, they've got much better hover animations and this little tab element that they have here in the hero section is a really cool way to showcase all the different features of the tool. I also love this little graphic that plays a video when clicked. And they also have some really cool scroll effects to highlight new features. So the last thing that I'll mention is that they have amazing variation in all of their sections. Every single section is a different layout, different color, and it makes every single scroll feel really fresh and unique. So personally, I really like this redesign, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Our second example here is Teachable. So this year they underwent a complete rebrand, which means the site has new fonts, new colors, and new styles. Now, if you look back at their old site, they have this kind of neutral green color as their main brand color but they also incorporate a lot of other nice colors that I think added a lot to the site. They used a little bit of purple, a little pink, and some orange. And looking at the color palette of their old brand, I actually really liked how it looked on the site. The new brand and site used this neon green yellow color, which definitely stands out, but I feel like it's a bit in your face. So I do feel like they lost a lot of character with the original color palette because now it feels like everything is just this lime green color. But aside from those brand colors, I actually feel like the new website looks really professional. The layout, the graphics, everything is really clean and fits well together. So if the goal was to feel a bit louder and more techy, I think they definitely accomplished that. But I'm still not really sure if this complete redesign was completely necessary. So let me know what you think down below. All right, our third example here is clicks.so. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, this is actually my tool. This is a tool that we bought here earlier this year, and I've spent the last several months trying to find its identity and personality. The original site wasn't bad, but it was very basic. It felt like a template. So I've been reworking this again and again, and I think we're just about there. Because this is an SEO tool and specifically going to become an AI SEO tool, we wanted to lean into the futuristic techie feel, which means we decided to go with a dark mode style. I'm also not a huge fan of only using the color orange, so we also incorporated in my brand purple, mixed the two together, which I think looks really good. So a few of my favorite parts of this new site, uh, first is the tab element here that has new screenshots of the tool, and as you click through those tabs, it showcases the different features and benefits of what the tool does. I also use several different grids to showcase different benefits, social proof. We updated all the icons and the other images. And I think these updates made the site just feel a little bit more intentional. I'm also pretty excited about all of the sub pages that we reworked because originally they were all just the same. And now each one has better content, better graphics, and the messaging is a lot more effective. And because of this, our conversions have actually gone way up on these pages. So I'm not sure that this is completely finished, but I'm feeling pretty good about where it's at. But I would love to hear what you think down in the comments. Feel free to be completely honest. I love your feedback. Now, the fourth example is kit.com. So they used to be ConvertKit, but completely rebranded. And I think what they've done with this new brand and new website is really cool. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull up the old site, but I did find this screenshot, which gives you a pretty good idea of what it used to look like. So you can see they completely redid the brand, the colors, the fonts, pretty much everything looks completely new. This is actually the tool that I use for my emailing, but I never really spent a lot of time looking through this new site until I was making this video, and I was actually pleasantly surprised at everything that they did here. I love their use of the bento grids here in the hero and the lower section is actually also a tab section where you can flip through to see different images. I really love the new blue color that they use, but they do a great job of incorporating other colors too. So it doesn't feel like everything is just white and blue. I think picking good secondary colors is something that a lot of brands overlook 
And this is something that I'm still trying to incorporate into my own websites. So the other thing that I like is how creative they got with the layout of this site. So they've got some sections that fit right in the middle. They've got other sections that go clear to the edges like this one that shuffles from right to left. And then they got sections like this that seem to just have these somewhat random floating blocks, but they still feel intentional. I just love when companies shake things up with their layouts. And so everything doesn't just feel like it's the same section over and over again. For me, this is how I can identify really experienced designers versus those that don't have as much experience. So you can definitely tell on the site that they do favor the bento grids, but I always feel like that's a very organized way to lay things out. And even though that was a recent trend, I think it's probably always going to be a great way to lay out websites. So this was actually a really fun video to make. I love looking at these old websites and seeing how they are improving them over time. So if this is something that you enjoyed, I've actually got a list of tons of other rebrands that I would love to cover. So comment your favorite down below so I know that you like these types of videos and I'll probably have more of these coming out very soon. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.